So, uh, as I told you in my first uh, presentation, I consider that we uh, have the duty to uh, read people is reading glass as well as was reading other people uh, during his uh, philosophical life. As you say, it's impossible to read Nietzsche or Spinoza without reading Glass, and I consider this uh, uh, nowadays uh, impossible to read Glass without reading uh, Rancière, uh, Meg, Badiou, Gizet. Uh, why is it necessary? Uh, for three, three main reasons. First, because they all are building their own uh, uh, theoretical programs uh, dealing with laws and uh, invoking, uh, claiming that they are uh, utilizing, using some uh, conceptual tools came from laws. So in order to understand them, we, we have to uh, confront their uses of Deleuze's tool with Deleuze himself. Secondly, uh, because they are actually uh, the fundamental thinkers uh, who try to uh, conserve, to keep the flame of some Deleuzean political and philosophical traditions. Uh, so in order to avoid that we uh, face Deleuze just as a uh, chapter in this or quality, in order to keep it working, and producing uh, consequences, we uh, have to deal with those thinkers who try to decide to prolong uh, the, the last effect. And thirdly, because uh, uh, through Gizek, Rancière, Ney, I, I'm not going to talk about Badiou, but th through those three philosophers, uh, we discover a lot of problems inside the last work. Uh, I mentioned in my first intervention just one problem, the problem concerning the, the role, the concept of events. Uh, as I uh, tried to show in my first presentation, uh, I suppose that it's because Deleuze himself is suffering the way he was being received in the 80s and in the beginning of the 90s that, he, uh, that uh, led uh, Deleuze to attribute a role to the concept of event that nothing could anticipate in the, his, I can say, intellectual development. So there's a return effect uh, on the work of Deleuze uh, produced by the way he was uh, being read in the 80s and the 90s. And, as I try to, to point out to you, uh, this concept of events comes from Badiou, Negri, and a little bit also came from Rancière, uh, this interpretation of event as the main political concept in the world. And I, I am suggesting that uh, if you believe in Negri, believe in Badiou, uh, Gizek, you uh, are missing the importance of one specific concept, is the concept of assemblage, the concept of agencement, where I believe uh, is the central uh, concept, uh, more concept political uh, thinking from in the world's work. Uh, but this distinction between agencement and événement, assembled, and event, and the fact that the last uh, dropped completely the concept of assemblage uh, are producing uh, a lot of I, I don't want to use the concept of misunderstanding but a lot of some strange uses of the last thing uh, so I am going to approach three main uh, uses in Gizek, work, concierge and uh, name why those three? Uh, Firstly, because of my narcissism. Uh, those three thinkers, those three philosophers, have visited the factory, have been here. Gizek to give a five-hour conference, a non-stop five-hour conference, 
on nobody knows what it was about. <laughs> but I can assure you that everyone was following the GZ during five hours non-stop discourse. Uh, uh, Rancière came here very awkwardly because uh, he is invited regularly to come to Lisbon. So we, we, so we have dinner here very awkwardly and discuss some seminars. And Negri is a good friend of this factory. He, he, he's, uh, he, how can I say, is free when I, I, because I'm preparing uh, a, a revolutionary university to take place here. Uh, alternative school, and he is prepared, he's, he told me he is ready to come to give classes here with no payment, uh, just to uh, assure the survival and the relevance of this adventure. So Mary visits us very regularly, and is one of the most committed uh, militants of this course. So because of these three reasons, the, the, because of the first reason, the, the three uh, has, have been here, and so uh, I, I am like a, a duty to talk about them in order to return the generosity they offer the effect. So let me, uh, uh, in second perspective, uh, point out the fact that they can represent three major approaches to words. Gizek uh, represents the most important uh, approach in what concerns the question of subjectivity in words. So uh, if you want to explore deeply uh, the concept, this problem inside Deleuze's work, you have to deal with Gizek reading of Deleuze, not only in his most popular uh, book, uh, The Organs Without Bodies, but mainly in the book on sub subject where he is uh, discussing with Rancière, Badiou, uh, Balibar, and where he is uh, proposing uh, the Lacanian concept of subjectivity against the so-called Deleuzean uh, or post-Deleuzean approach. Uh, Rancière uh, is uh, it's, uh, fundamental in what concerns the question of art in the lens. Because Rancière is trying to dismiss the theory of art in the lens. He's trying to show as there's no theory of art at all in the lens work. Uh, Glass is making a metaphysics of uh, assemblage, or a metaphysics of virtual or pure effect, but this is not a theory of art. So if, if we uh, want to uh, understand uh, what, what is at stake uh, in the work of Luz and what concerns art, theory of art, or uh, aesthetic theory, we have to read Rancière and to understand uh, why is he proposing this kind of uh, annihilation of what could be a uh, theory of art in Luz. And Negri, uh, is the one who is concerned with the questions of assemblages, multiplicities, uh, collective bodies, collective movements, collective becomings. So uh, it's uh, as well necessary to read Mary in order to go deeper in what concerns the concept of collective body, collective movement, the, the revolutionary events. And so on. So, we have the question of subjectivity coming through uh, Gizek, the question of art coming through Rancière, the question of uh, collective uh, bodies, uh, multiplicities coming from the uh, name. And what I would like to defend in my presentation is uh, the idea that the, those three approaches, they uh, work on the same not mistake, the same presupposition. There's one common presupposition in Gizek, uh, Rancière, and uh, Mary, and the presupposition is that uh, Deleuze is uh, dealing 
with something between metaphysics and politics. It's proposed, uh, Deleuze is proposing metaphysical concept to, to think some political uh, dimension or is using some political approaches to transform our metaphysical understanding. Uh, and this is uh, a common presupposition because in between metaphysics and uh, politics, there's a third uh, realm in Deleuze's work is the, you can say, the ecology. Uh, a theory of bodies, a theory of assemblages, a theory of territories, uh, 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 some kind of vitalism or less call it naturalism, uh, where he is dealing with not a metaphysic concept of virtual, possible, actual, not even a question of politics, what concerns uh, producing new communities, new enthusiasm between <coughs> singularities inside the collective body, but it is much more connected with uh, the topics Ronald Bow approaches precisely uh, according to a uh, theory of territory coming from a theory of earth and uh, producing a uh, theory of uh, savages uh, where we, you can find three different approaches to precisely uh, the, those three concepts, concept of subjectivity, concept of art, and concept of uh, collective bond. Let me start with Rancière, uh, in order to show you how Rancière is missing something important in the theory of art uh, in Glass. Uh, as you, if you read uh, already Rancière, as he has no book, uh, old book on Glass, he has just some chapters in the, this collective book uh, published by Eric Aliens, uh, the Philosophique, who Rancière wrote a famous article, is it still an esthetique de Zien? There is some uh, aesthetics in the words. And there's another chapter in La Parole Duet, La Philosophie Philosophy and Literature, where he is uh, uh, commenting the text on Bartleby uh, from Critical and Clinical. So there's some uh, chapters, some articles uh, from uh, Rancière on uh, the words. But in all those articles, Rancière is stating the same uh, position, the same thesis. Uh, is, and this thesis is uh, Deleuze is not proposing the theory of art, because Deleuze is proposing only a metaphysics of art. And the metaphysics of art has, uh, as its main concept, the concept of pure affect. And the concept of poor effect, poor affection, affection perception, uh, is connected with the concept of virtual, concept of poor events, and this concept of poor events connected with the concept of pure affect and perception, uh, we can find in what is philosophy, and is not an aesthetic concept, is a concept, is a metaphysical concept, so it doesn't explain anything about art, about what is. Uh, in, uh, not only in creation, but also in perception of uh, all time. So this uh, main thesis from Rancière uh, is built up on a, a, a strange forgetting. Uh, Rancière never deals with thousand plateaus, never deals with the concept of refrain, as rural Bow explained to us, never deals with the concept of territory, uh, territorial movement in building uh, precise uh, uh, houses, building uh, refrains, musical refrains, spatial refrains. So uh, all the argumentation uh, Rancière is proposing in this reading of the last is, I don't know if, if it is intentionally forgetting or if just uh, lack of time in the project, we have enough, have enough time to read thousand platters. <laughs> Everybody knows that, that, that it takes one, one year, two years to read thousand platters, and perhaps Concierge has enough time to do it. So that's why it is always 
uh, ignoring, always avoiding this vitalist theory of art coming precisely from the ethological perspective of art. That's, uh, so that's why he is uh, insisting in this thesis that blood is only a metaphysics, not a uh, anthropology or uh, ecology of art. In what concerns uh, Gizek, I am very schematic, okay? I, I believe I can be more profound afterwards. In what concerns Gizek, uh, he, he is uh, ignoring a central movement, a theoretical movement in the Deleuze's work when he is uh, proposing this coming back to Lacan uh, uh, against the, the concept of uh, the absent subjectivity in uh, Deleuze's work. Uh, according, according to Gizek, uh, it's, it's true that in his book uh, Organs, Organs Without Bodies, uh, in his book he is mainly uh, approached the question of what is virtual, what is actual uh, inside uh, Blood's uh, work, and uh, he tries to show that uh, the concept of virtuality in Deleuze is just the effect of uh, abandoning the problem of law and the problem of uh, the, the relationship between desire and law. Uh, according to uh, Gizek, if you try to see desire outside <coughs> the concept of law, and this connection between the symbolic, the real, and the imaginary came from Laka, uh, we you are uh, condemned to uh, lose your theory of desire and to lose your theory of subjectivity. So uh, Laka uh, could be the counter argument against the desire machines and the concept of body without organs, because you cannot understand what is desire without understanding the importance, uh, the original importance of uh, law. It's quoting uh, Lacan. And uh, he tries to read the concept uh, body without organs and these uh, mach uh, design machines with, with no connection at all with a uh, law but just connection with other mach design machine as uh, a metaphysical uh, description of uh, desire, uh, because uh, according to Gizek, the main concept in uh, uh, Deleuze's theory of desire is a concept of actualization, uh, to sort of virtual. And so it spent a lot of time uh, analyzing the concept of virtual and actual, uh, and trying to, to show that there, there are empty concepts, because they are not dealing with the, with the very central problem of a theory of desire is the connection between desire and law. And so, uh, uh, in the uh, Gizek approach, uh, approach uh, Deleuze is missing again uh, a central question, the question of desire, because Deleuze is trying to explain desire through metaphysical concepts, through the concept of virtual, the concept of actual, the concept of effectiveness, and the concept of connections. And all those concepts are metaphysical, they are not anthropological or they are not uh, psychological or they are not ethological. So uh, Deleuze misses the concept of desire when he uh, dropped all his Lacanian influence. As you know, uh, Deleuze was Lacanian in Colters and Cruelty. He abandoned Lacan, Lacan a little bit in Antigidibus, but completely in the South of Platos. So according to Gizek, Deleuze became just a metaphysical thinker when he abandoned uh, uh, the psychoanalytic and Lacanian tradition. So it is, it is, it's not worth to discuss with uh, Deleuze uh, inside the anthropological or psychoanalytic tradition because Deleuze is, is past two metaphysics and not uh, and never more on uh, really a theory concerning uh, uh, desire as itself. 
law. And in what concerns Negri, uh, it's uh, a similar movement. Uh, of, uh, Negri, of course, is the only one who is claiming every time that he is reading the law seriously, he wants to uh, intensify the theoretical consequences coming from the work of uh, the laws. But according to Negri, uh, the laws was uh, missing uh, something. And uh, what was, was missing was two things. Uh, a theory of revolution, a theory of constitu constitu constituent power, uh, and uh, a really uh, economic politics, uh, really a theory of property, uh, what he is proposing in his last book uh, from this three at the Commonwealth, the theory of the common between the private and the public. And uh, why was uh, the last missing this uh, economical uh, approach? Because uh, the last was a metaphysical, uh, the last uh, has uh, passed through a theory of uh, virtual uh, uh, to a theory of connection and uh, design machines in the collective bodies with no uh, approach uh, coming through uh, economics perspectives and uh, losing the, the, the some Marxist uh, tradition. Uh, and it's interesting to realize that uh, the GSEC approach, the Haussier and the Negris approach, they all underline, when they are talking about the laws, uh, they all underline the importance of the process of event in uh, the laws. Uh, in uh, GSEC, this uh, concept of event is read, is read, <coughs> Is read in dialogue with Badiou's work, uh, Being and Event, uh, where he, he tries to show that Badiou's concept of event is the, the, very, the very theory of event, and uh, Gizek is uh, suggesting that uh, the Badiou concept of event is much more relevant. That's the, the, the logical concept of event. So, if you want to work with this concept, you have to forget uh, the laws and to adopt the uh, Badiou uh, approach. Uh, in the concierge, is the a similar movement. Uh, when, for instance, when he was uh, reading the text uh, on uh, Bartleby. Uh, Concierge says, uh, let's uh, just indicate this event where all singularities could mingle, could gather in a new community of bachelors, uh, it would be a singular event like uh, all built with uh, stones with no cement, just an event of gathering. Uh, but uh, it's like a, a, a Dionysian uh, event. Suddenly, uh, the singularities produces a collective event, but the uh, last never explain how to produce this event, how to produce this collective body. Because the last is a metaphysical uh, thinker, he just think uh, about singularities, events, uh, pure events, and never explain the internal dynamic of those events. And in what was such art was uh, is talking about the events of affection, of perception, but uh, this uh, affection and perception is something uh, metaphysical and not material or corporal. Uh, and in Mary is uh, the same important attribution to the concept of event, uh, because Negri uh, tries to adopt uh, some uh, features 
uh, coming from bad use theory of events, define revolution as this uh, disruption of uh, policy producing politics, and this uh, similar to concept uh, theory of politics as the event who produces the new, who interrupts policy in order to introduce politics, and politics be, uh, start with an uh, event, and uh, in uh, uh, Nagy's, uh, Michael Hart, of course, uh, way of thinking about uh, how to produce uh, political transformation, he is using the constant carrying from value of event, and they consider that the loss was not enough accurate in order to think about this uh, concept of producing an event as a way of introducing uh, a political uh, transformation inside the police uh, structure. Uh, so, uh, in a way of presenting it uh, schematically, I, I think that uh, reading Gizet, Concierge, uh, and Negus' uh, way of looking at gloves, uh, we can discover the importance of returning to thousand plateaus returning to some chapters in what is philosophy uh, where the question of politics is not thinking through the concept of events but through uh, the concept of assemblages and this pet talk as I tried to show you uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, the, only through the concept of assemblage you can establish distinctions inside events, historical events or even uh, inside, inside uh, some trans uh, political transformation in order to make the diagnosis of its own dynamics, internal dynamics. Uh, and if you don't uh, connect this tradition, coming from a thousand factors and uh, check geo uh, geophilosophy, what is philosophy, with the concept of event, uh, we cannot uh, understand the misreading of Gizek, uh, Rancière, and Negri, and you cannot understand uh, as well the uh, relevance, the ethological and anthropological perspective you can find in the Blur's work can have to uh, uh, the actual uh, political debate in what concerns uh, Deleuze and uh, reception. It was uh, my. I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't bring all the quotations, I, but I believe that you will find those quotations if you have enough time. That's it. And just as, as uh, another narcissistic uh, performance. Uh, I just received yesterday the book of my daughter, Victorina, Gilles Blas, et Literature, and um, it's amazing to realize how uh, Jacques Concert, in his pre uh, preface to the book, because Jacques Concert was the mentor of Victorina, during his her PhD, uh, it's amazing to realize uh, how Rancière uh, is reaffirming all this misunderstanding of the theory of the art and uh, the laws when he is uh, assuring that uh, Caterina's uh, reading of uh, the laws is the good one. So uh, this is uh, a marvelous book because here you can discover both the Luz and the Rancière perspective. Uh, so you, you, if you read this book, you, uh, you don't need to read Rancière. Uh, <laughs> and you can read the Luz and as if what Rancière himself was reading the Luz. So you, you have here a concentration of the Luz, Rancière, 
Rancière. Rancière with the blood, blood of his being misbidden by Rancière at all at the same time. And for me, it's a pleasure. <laughs> So I decided to make my PhD on Rousseau in order to understand the way Blas was reading the Stoics. And so I'm captured by these multiple perspectives and where uh, the author, it's a name to, to mention a, a huge uh, world of uh, theoretical experiments, experiments. But I cannot avoid of when I'm dealing with some uh, perspective, I can't avoid to, to know that this came from Bergson, this came from Melamonti, this came from Sartre. This is when Blas is confronting himself with someone else. And that's why, uh, in order to understand the work of Blas, actually, 
I have to make a similar movement. I have to read Rancière, because when I am reading Rancière, reading Gleuze, I understand much better not only Rancière, Gleuze, and some questions of, about art and politics. It's Samuel Gizek, Negri. This is a uh, crazy experience, but I, I suppose that inside this craziness, use name of authors helps a little bit. Uh, helps in making some cryptography problems. At the same time, you uh, you have to be aware of the fact that uh, the list is changing every time this uh, theoretical problem. And so it's important to uh, realize uh, those discontinuities inside the list because if you want to read the list as the author of all those books and you try to read them in a homogeneous way, you misunderstand everything. Because you cannot connect difference of repetition, for instance, with logic of sense. Because, for instance, there is no theory of even difference of repetition. How can Deleuze write a book of difference of repetition without using the concept of event? He just uses the concept of event in logic of sense. But he uses the concept of event in logic of sense because he is reading Husserl and the, the, the grammatic nucleus. And because he is trying to combine Musa with like a the precursor of Sombre, Phantom, Phantasm. And because he's trying to read Phantasm according to uh, Husserl and projecting to the concept of incorporal, coming from the way Briey was reading Crazy So he produced some clarity. But afterwards he changed completely. Published anti Oedipus, it's a completely new world. And, and uh, Thousand Pathos. Is a critic of Thousand Plateaus. And Gluz never, never helped us just say, hey boys, uh, when I was writing cruel, cruelty and cold, cold and cruelty, I was completely crazy because I was adopting Lacanian concepts. Hey boys, when I was writing anti Oedipus, I was completely crazy because I was working on a, a dualistic perspective, molecular and more. Now I. And he never says that. So it, it's. Uh, useful to use uh, the concept of authorship in order to cut some kind of theoretical perspective, but you have to be careful because inside this authorship there's a lot of differentiation, a lot of uh, different connections. Yes. Uh, one of your main points you had made initially uh, is that returns to the topic of the event because of the context in which everyone else is talking about the event. Today, you've talked about after the list of death. And I was intrigued by the point you were making about when he was alive. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. Uh, I think he was influenced uh, by four uh, different approaches to the concept of event in the 80s. The first is the book coming from Badiou. He read Lettre de Vermont. He mentioned this book as a wonderful book on the concept of event. Uh, and he realizes, after reading Badiou's book, he realizes that it was a strong uh, approach, approach to uh, this uh, concept. Secondly, uh, he is dealing with Derrida, concept of événement, avènement. He's trying to avoid this messianic uh, approach of events, something we cannot view, cannot anticipate, and because the side of the anticipate can come to you, can venir, admire, and he was trying to avoid this messianic perspective on uh, the concept of events. Third is the way Negri is uh, reading the concept of event as uh, the producing of uh, political novelty, uh, producing precisely politics uh, inside the normal state of affairs in politics. And the, th the fourth tradition came from Rossier. Uh, Deleuze uh, never mentions Rancière, but you cannot uh, forget that Rancière was a colleague of uh, Deleuze in Paris. And uh, Rancière, 
was some kind of connection between Deleuze and Foucault. Uh, because uh, when Rancière drops his fidelity to Althusser, he start working inside the Foucault tribe, inside the Foucault methodology archives, uh, Moore, uh, all those books on the history of the uh, proletarian movement in the 19th century is using Foucault's uh, tools. And uh, Rancière was uh, using the concept of event uh, to define precisely the concept of politics. Uh, politics starts when uh, a disruption, uh, something new, an event, 